question 22, a cube has shaded shapes on three of its faces. So here we've got our cube and we've got these shapes. We've got a square and a circle overlapping across the edges. And we're given the neck of the cube down here and we're asked to draw in the two missing shaded shapes. In other words, we're asked to complete the net so that it will form this cube. So if we look at our net here, we've got half those shapes. We need to decide where to draw the other half. On our cube here, we've got our square overlapping our circle and we've got one, two, three sides here, all touching to this corner. So if we take a look at this on the net, we've got our first side here. And what we have to do now is we have to visualize folding up the net. We have to, in our head, we have to think about folding it up where each face is going to be. So as we're folding up our net, we're going to fold it together here so that this edge and this edge are going to meet. And we can see quite easily that the other half of our circle is going to fit in here on this side. So we can draw that in straight away. So we know that that's our second side that's going to meet. But we have to try and decide now where our third side is going to be. Well, if we use that corner to help us here, this corner between our shapes, once we fold our faces together, we're folding this down here, we're folding, so this corner is going to fold down with this corner here. And then that gives us a bit of a clue because we can see already that this corner is touching only one other face, this face here. And this is going to be our third face from our diagram. One, two, three, one, two, three. So when we fold our net together, this edge here is going to come down and meet this edge here. And that means that we can draw in the other half of our square on this face here. And there we go, we've completed our net.